The winter snowpack is sitting at 111% of normal levels, and that's good news for Lake Powell. The Bureau of Reclamation is now projecting Lake Powell water levels to rise over the next two years. As for Lake Mead, it's projected to drop 15 feet by the end of July, but eventually, after winter time, rise once again by the end of February. These numbers are a big improvement from previous forecasts. You can read more at 8newsnow.com. Decades of waiting are about to end in Laughlin. Today, Clark County announced the opening date for a new bridge between Nevada and Arizona. It took years of work, millions of dollars to get the crossing complete. Good Day Las Vegas anchor John Langler looks at why the bridge is vital for both sides of the Colorado River. Yeah, it's going to be nice. A few small steps for councilmen. Kids can walk around, they can ride their bike. One giant leap across the Colorado River. It's been needed for a while. Bullhead City Council members took a stroll across something they've waited years to see. A new, bigger way to get from Arizona to Nevada. We always say if we would have done it, it would have been done 10 years ago. Right now, this is the main way to get from here in Laughlin over across the river to Bullhead City. Don Laughlin built it himself, paid for it himself too. And while the bridge is fine and functional, it's not exactly big. It's been a hot topic for decades. Carrie Larson runs the Laughlin Chamber of Commerce. Right now, as you travel between the communities of Laughlin and Bullhead City, you have about a 30 minute loop to go all the way around. The solution to the existing route, a new one south of Laughlin. It's easier for trucks, wider for safety, and better for traffic. It has been decades in the making. Tuesday, Clark County Commissioner Michael Naft announced the bridge will open June 7th. It's not only important for the flow of traffic in the south part of the county, but it's critically important um, for emergencies. Construction started in 2021, more than 20 years after planning started. It cost more than $60 million, mostly paid for by the Regional Transportation Commission. It may not be the prettiest bridge ever built, but it'll serve a vital purpose. The only question... That's the, the most popular question I get right now. What to name it? We're waiting to hear the answer. Larson says the Laughlin Chamber has given its list of suggestions to Clark County. It will decide what fancy phrase the span gets. We did see some very unique suggestions. We will name it before we open the bridge. Uh, it will not be named for a person. On both sides of the river, it's going to be a, a gold mine. For now, it's just that thing everyone wanted and finally will get to use. They'll just have to wait a few more months. It's finally happening. In Laughlin, John Langler, 8 News Now. Now, the project includes a small nature refuge for birds looking to escape some of the jet skis and other river traffic. There are also biking and hiking trails.